Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest with us today. This is Dr. Richard London. But before we begin, I just want to say thank you and give a shout out to our sponsor today. And I want to let you know that his view on life, you see, he says, don't get scammed by big marketing companies. Trust in DMA Consultant to grow your business because he wants you to visit his website at dmaworld.com for valuable insights and resources. And he's also having a free... Uh, live presentation and it's going to be at 30waystomarket.com and there are still seats open and he asked for everybody to really if you have a business and you really want to let it grow and you, you're sick again scammed by marketers and you don't want to pay the big bucks anymore to visit his uh, new um, seminar that he's going to be doing at 30waystomarket.com and his name is Mark and you can reach him at 321-235-5700 or email him at mark at dmaworld.com to discuss your business needs. So choose DMA for consulting your success. So Dr. London, we were talking and you have an amazing view on life and you were talking about the secrets of life and how, about unity and about the purpose of why we're here. And you were talking about longevity when we were discussing before the show. Why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do and the purpose and, and message that you'd like to get across today? Okay. The purpose of my being here is everybody's purpose, and that's to share wisdom with other people around them. So everyone on planet Earth has the same primary purpose, and that's to share great wisdom with their family, with their friends that move them forward in their life. Not opinions. Opinions right. don't move, move people forward. Then you have secondary purposes. You have tercer purposes. You can choose any purpose you want. Like I rescue animals. That's another purpose of mine. I'm a treasure hunter. That's another purpose. I love nature. So I'm here to save planet Earth. But the primary purpose is for you to share your great wisdom. So where do you get this great wisdom? Do you get it from books? Do you get it from the internet? You actually get it from the wisdom inside of your heart and your soul. Yes. So one of the things I want to share with all your fabulous listeners is stop thinking so much. You're in roadblocks. The reason you're not receiving the information to transform your life is you're blocking it. If it if you allow it to come through here, it goes to your heart and soul, and then you can use it. The remote control of your life is not your brain. It is your heart, and it is your soul. Everything in your life is about numbers, actions, and words. So God and I invented a word called the wellness air. It's the most powerful word that exists on planet Earth because it has a vibration in the tens of thousands. And it encompasses a person not only having abundance and wealth, but having joy, having gratitude, having harmony. Yes. Having wellness. You know, the word wellness did not exist 20 plus years ago. Everything was about good health. Mm -hmm. Now it's right. about great wellness. So wellness encompass, encompasses financial wellness, personal wellness, physical wellness, mental wellness, emotional. Yes. So the other thing I can share Stop the drama. <laughs> the more drama you have in your life, the less of a life you're going to have. Yeah. You're spending your whole life in drama. Right. So let me give your listeners some practical experiences. So I've been in front of stores and I would say to my wife, I want to buy things for me 
80% discount or they give it to me free. Now, that's a pretty crazy statement. 80% hmm. discount or they give it to me free. So my wife looked like shoes. She goes in and looks at the shoes. I go to the men's department and I see a shaver, top of the line shaver valued at $300. The person put it into the computer with the barcode. I paid $30. Hmm. So they paid me $270 to buy a $300 item. So I bought it at 90% discount. Now, that wasn't luck. I created it with my words with my thoughts. Right. And that's what humans need to learn how to do is to use the words and actions to create real things in their life. So right. ask me how many times I've done that. Hundreds. Not one time, hundreds of times. Right. As a treasure hunter for 20 years, I used to buy things for $1. And that was the price that people gave me. <laughs> and you know how much some of the things were valued? How much? Up into $100,000. Wow. And I bought it for $1. <laughs> Again, that isn't an accident. It's my right. faith. So I'd get up 4 o'clock in the morning, go to a estate sale, a garage sale, be the first one there. And then I was divinely guided to buy things. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that gives a couple human examples. Right. So I was telling Stacy before the show, I was the first person on planet Earth to master the law of attraction, the secret. So four years old, some days I had no food to eat. And I like to eat. So instead of crying about not having food, I asked God to assist. So the first day I was walking, I would find pennies, put them in my pocket. Second day, nickels, third day, dimes, fourth day, quarters. By the fifth day, I asked God for envelopes, white envelopes, because that's all I knew as a kid, white envelopes, filled with paper money. And there would be uh, envelopes filled with 300, 500, 600, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 dollars. This happened regularly every day. I had to hide my money, and I had a lot of money to hide for a four year old child. I hid <laughs> it under the stove, under the refrigerator, every place I could. <laughs> So by the age of eight, I was the richest child on earth. I had 13 children working for me and making thousands per week. So I didn't have to ask God for envelopes. I worked 100 hours a week. So one of the things is you have to work effectively. Yes. How many hours a week do you work, Stacy? I work a lot of hours a week. I put in, I don't even know how many hours, but I start very early and sometimes I can go all the way to midnight and not, not even stop. So I start at two o'clock in the morning every day. <laughs> Comes my clients around the world. And I work a hundred hours plus a week and I don't have to work. Right. I, I work because it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. Stacy is doing what is a pleasure to her. So listeners out there, you have to do what's a pleasure. If you're not happy doing what you're doing, stop doing it. Yes. Yeah. Because it's not going to be of great value to you. And plus, okay. Many, many years ago, people on planet Earth wanted $10 was a lot of money in the 1800s. Then they wanted $100. Then they wanted $1,000. Then they wanted $10,000. Then they wanted $100,000. Now it went from millions to billions and trillions. 
So people want trillions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So another thing is think big. I'm going to share a statement with you. You need to follow this statement that you're bigger than your problems. You're bigger than life. And they're, you're bigger than yourself. So in the course of your life, people have talked to you about investing in gold. Is that correct? Um, yes, they have. Okay. So years ago, when people started talking to me about investing in gold, you know what I did? What? I bought, I bought a gold mine. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Big yes. difference. Then I optimized my gold mine so it has 10 generations of wealth in it. So my goal, instead of taking all the gold out of the mine, it, it's going to be mined for 500 years. So it's going to have wealth for 10 generations, not just one generation. Right. So the point I'm making, what you do now it's for the generations in the future. Now, right. you have one daughter, you have more children. I have three kids. Three children. So whatever you're doing now, you want to share this wisdom with your children so they can have a divine life, a wonderful life. Right. Not, ju not just a normal life. Right. So listeners out there, most of the people who are married in the world today have karmic relationships with their husbands or wives. But there's another way of being with a person, and that's really marrying your soulmate. So when you're with your soulmate, believe it or not, you never argue. Hmm. And the reason you don't argue, both of you have the same faith. Both of you have the same direction. No opinions. And you love the person divinely. Right. Now, you love your children divinely, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to teach your listeners about love, which is really important. The majority of people coming into this planet have three lessons. One is the love lesson. One is abandonment. And one is the financial lesson. The majority of people suffer with creating love in their lives. So let's talk about the three loves that exist. There's cultural love. So you learn love from the environment of your parents. Were your parents very loving? My parents? Yes. They had love, but they didn't um, know how to show it the right way. Okay. Because okay. of their Mine, environment that they grew up in. Yeah. Mine as well. So cultural love has no value on planet Earth. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Then there's a love called unconditional love. But in the 21st century, what has happened, humans love unconditionally, but then they put conditions on their love. Yes. I will love you if you get good grades in school. Mm. I will love you if you take me on a vacation. I will right. love you if you buy me a big diamond ring. Right. That's not the love that divinity created. Right. The only, the only love that's pure is divine love. Right. That's when you love somebody from your heart and soul. Yes. So I love all of humanity from my heart and soul. Not from my mind. Not from my big toe but from my heart and soul. So it's right. really, really pure. So listeners out there, move away from cultural love and unconditional love to divinely loving the people in your life. Yes. Yes. Time is numbers. You have to control your time in your life. Right. Stay do you ever say to yourself, I don't have enough time? Oh, I think I say that all the time because, you know, but I've learned now I've gotten to a point where if I don't get it done, there's always tomorrow. But I used to get to a point where I was always don't have enough of time in the day because I had all these expectations and all these things I wanted to do, but it was just burning me out or stressing me out. So then I got right. to the point where 
I just do what I can. And there's always the next day when I wake up and then I'll continue. Right. I've never said I don't have enough time in my life. What I do say is I have unlimited time for everything that's important in my life. I have right. unlimited time for everything that's important in my life. I have unlimited time for everything that's important in my life. I like that. So here's the another big secret. Do you know what tapping is? Tapping. We'll tapping. explain. It. Tapping. Tapping. T a p p i n g. The only tapping that I think of is when you tap like this. What's your what your what's your uh, um, description of it? Oh no, no. This is a a, a method that I created. Oh, okay. So no. So when, when you want to create something in your life, you tap it nine times and you could say it in 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 your heart or soul or you can actually say it out loud so say say a person wants wellness right so so they go my body is in wellness 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 i'm not my body is in wellness my body is in wellness so you tap it out nine times. I see. Okay, I like that. So people's favorite number in the world is three. So the number nine is the ultimate, ultimate vibrational number that exists on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. So by tapping it nine times, you're connecting. Ah, oh, okay. So I like I've successfully tapped tens of thousands of times. So I'm going to tell you about a tapping just recently. Mm -hmm. So I was going to the ocean. Right. For rejuvenation. And my wife wanted one of her sisters to come and stay with her and talk. Right. Now, this sister presently is taking care of her ex-husband's mother, the grand. Mm -hmm mother of her children. Right. And she told my wife she couldn't come because nobody else wanted to take care of the grandmother. Right. So I said, no problem. I tapped it out. Not only did she visit it, she visited it. I started tapping on Monday and she mm -hmm. visited Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and went back home on Sunday. Oh, wow. And during her time here, the children that were the problem that I tapped their energy called her many times and said, you need to come home and take care of grandmother. We don't want to take care of her. Mm. So that's how powerful tapping. I tapped only two days she arrived on Wednesday. I left on Tuesday, stayed four days. My wife had a wonderful time with her sister. And I'm in my home in Mexico. So it was time of the independence of Mexico. So there was lots of music, celebration, and so yeah. forth. Mm -hmm. But you could tap anything you want. Right, you, right. You can, you can tap somebody into wellness. Have you right. ever prayed? Have you ever prayed for anyone? Oh, of course, yes. Okay. And did that person live or die? They lived. Do you know why they lived? Because I was tapping positive energy into them. Because I, they were feeling the energies that I was. I was transforming into them. Yes. When you pray for a person to have a good life here on planet Earth and not in the hereafter, they generally stay here on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. So is there a solution for all illnesses? Yes. Absolutely. Solutions for everything. Yes. But the solutions are based based on the level of faith. Mm -hmm. So faith can be over here on the left and then over here on the right. Right. 
So where is God right now to do you? I think he's everywhere. I think I think his energy is afloat everywhere. Okay, so let me explain. Most people believe God is above them and they're below God. Is that correct? Yes. God and I are one 100% of the time, 24 hours a day. So mm -hmm. you and God have to be one, not God is up there. If God is way up there, how can God hear you and help you? Mm -hmm. God has to be right next to you. And you and God are one. Yes. Why not? Doesn't that sound more sensible? It does sound more sensible. Yes. And that then guess what? God can hear you. If God is right next to you, God can hear you. Mm -hmm. So right now, listeners, God is listening to Stacy. God is listening to me. And God will listen to you if you and God connect on the same level. So I'm going to teach your listeners another important thing. You are not a child of God. You're actually the daughter of God. And I'm the son of God. So, see, if you're the child of God, that means you're way below God. And the purpose of everyone, everyone being on this planet Earth is to reach God, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're the daughter of God. Would you would you rather be the daughter of God or the child of God? The daughter. Yes. And the son. And, and it doesn't mean, yeah, it doesn't mean that you're bigger or better than anybody that exists on planet Earth. It's just that you're on a different vibrational level. Right. In, in everything. The problems that I have, like automate a life. I can actually automate a person's life and bring them to fifth dimension. You've heard of fifth dimension, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is fifth dimension? You're asking me? Yes. I don't know it in, in pure detail. I've heard of fifth dimension, but I don't know. If you asked me to go in depth about it, I could not explain it to you. Okay. So the majority of people on planet Earth are first dimension. Mm -hmm. not third dimension. Right. And the reason they're only first is the level of energy and vibration. Mm -hmm. First dimension, people vibrate 80 to 120. Mm -hmm. Second vibration, they vibrate 120 to maybe 230. Third dimension, 230 to 690. Mm -hmm. See, all the experts in the world said, when you reach the vibration of 1,000, you reach nirvana. That was incorrect. Mm -hmm. Because first level angels. So you, you have angels around you, right? Yes. Okay. So a first level angel vibrates at 50,000. Mm -hmm. So what would you rather be? 120 or 50,000? 50, 50,000. <laughs> yes. Or more. So or more. vibrating 50,000 or more is part of the fifth dimensional experience. Right. And it's also about knowing. So lots of things you're in knowing. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't know why you know, but you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm in knowing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So no matter how difficult the solution is, I know it instantaneously. Right. And that's because the information is always close to you, but you're right. just not receiving it. Right. So I solve world problems every day. Right. For, for countries, problems of food, problems with how they treat the elderly. Right. Like Singapore. Have you ever been to Singapore? 
I haven't been there, but I've seen pictures and it's beautiful. Yes. Believe it or not, that country takes care of its elderly people. Yes, it does. And they have the best, one of the best hospitals in the world. Oh, really? Yeah. And you know why? Why? They believe in wellness. So in order to have things, I believe in abundance. I believe in gratitude. I believe in joy. I believe in harmony. I believe in wealth. I believe in wellness. I believe in becoming a wellness heir. Right. It's all, a, it's all about your level of belief. Yes. So, so in Singapore, they've solved lots of the world problems. Yes. Yes. Now, you're living in what part of the world? I'm on the eastern uh, part of the United States. I'm in okay. the New Jersey. Okay. As an example, California. Do you know how many people live in California? A lot. <laughs> 40, 40 million people. Mm -hmm. And probably 20 million plus cars. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons I left California, it was very difficult to move around to yeah. California. Yes. It would take me to drive 100 miles, two hours or eight hours. Right. That's a lot of time I would be losing. Yeah. Yeah. So listeners out there, time is all you have. And you have to make the best of your time. Yes. If you if you like animals, play with your animals a lot. If you like children, play with your children a lot. Enjoy every minute. So every minute of the day, I'm in my I have gardens. So I'm in my gardens, touching the plants, giving right. them divine love, giving. So my wife feeds all the animals. I don't feed the animals. Right. And she asked me, why do the animals love you so much? My energy. Right. Yes. So I had the largest spiritual center in the world for 30 years. I used to embrace tens of thousands of people in a day right that's a, that's a lot of hugging right oh that's a lot of hugging <laughs> there's a lot of hugging so everybody that i hugged said it feels like i'm in the hands of divinity mm -hmm. yes i gave them divine love Yes. And then they gave me divine love back. Right. So people talk a lot about, okay, if I love everybody in the world, I'm going to be abundant. Mm -hmm. No. You're going to be abundant if you take lots of action. Lots of action. I had a lady come to me. And she was 75 years old. She had only worked 25 years, 25 hours a week her entire life. And now she wanted to be a millionaire. And it's not possible. She didn't put right. enough time and energies. So yeah. if you, if your, your daughter is how old? I have two daughters. So I, they're in, they're in their twenties. Okay. They're in their twenties. So this is the time listeners out there. You only have to work three to five years well and you can attain any level of wealth that you would like whether or not you want to be a millionaire or a billionaire yes it's all possible see yes. one of the one of the reasons i allowed the secret to come out the book the secret mm -hmm. what do you think the reason was you wanted to share your knowledge people no. had a wrong perception. no i wanted to plant the seeds to humanity that everything is possible. Yes, mm -hmm. I like everything, that. Everything is possible. You know, the fastest car on earth is an electric car. Did you know that? No, I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that. Zero to 60 miles in less than three seconds. Oh, wow. And electric cars have more torque. I didn't know that. 
So I have a lot of cars because I love cars. Right. So whatever I love most, I put my passion in those areas. Yeah. And that's, listeners, that's what you need to do. Find something you really divinely love and put mm -hmm. all the passion. Do you, do you see the words behind me? Love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Above is the tree of life. Yes, it is. I noticed that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in that tree of life, those are people's hearts. Yeah. And in the heart. So I discovered there's nine chambers in everybody's heart. Medically, people think there's only six. Right. But there's three secret chambers. So I took presidents and checked the chambers in their heart. Yes. They, re they registered at 13 to 15 percent. Right. They were presidents of the United States. Wow. So listeners, your heart's chambers have to be optimized to 100 percent. Yes, truly. Lots of people say, oh, my heart is broken. It's not really broken. It just over years, you damage various chambers. So there's right. a chamber that controls every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. Again, the number nine. Nine chambers. Right. So for, for thousands of years, people believe there were only six chambers in the heart. But there right. are three three secret chambers, right? That act as the remote control of your life. Mm -hmm. So your heart and soul is the remote control of your life. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna share a famous statement of mine. When you choose great people in your life, you are a wise person. When you choose yeah. great people people in your life, you're a wise person. So the first person I chose to be in my life at four years old was God. Yes. And so therefore, I have a lot of wisdom. And not necessarily human wisdom, but God's wisdom, which is very pure. Right. Do you go to sleep what early or late? A little bit late. There's a certain time that I start to doze off, but probably around around 12, 12 30 is when I start to actually feel okay. ready to go to bed. Okay. And you wake up what time? I usually wake up around seven. Okay. So you're breaking one of God's rules. <laughs> one of the most important things in someone being successful in this life. Is right. your sleep, sleep pattern. Yes. You're supposed to go to sleep when it's dark and wake up when it's light. Right. I generally go to sleep sometimes three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, wow. You sleep all the way through to the next no. day? <laughs> no. But I wake up at two o'clock in the morning, remember. Oh. Ah. So listeners out there, your routines indicate what's going to happen to your life. If you're not eating well, if you're not exercising well, if you're not sleeping well, our bodies need eight to nine hours of sleep. Right. I force myself to sleep, to go to mm -hmm. sleep at three o'clock. I, I, I watch all the cable channels. Mm-hmm. And all the reality programs. Because I want to know how humans are really acting on this planet Earth. Right. And have you ever watched these people who get engaged with people in other countries? Have you ever watched uh, like, those? Before? I've seen I've seen little bits and pieces. I'm not a big TV person, but I've seen I've seen some of the segments. Okay. So listeners out there, don't look for love. Mm-hmm. The person you 
need to love is yourself 100%, but not egotistically. Right. When I watch these programs, it's horrible. These people do not love themselves. You don't necessarily have to go to another country to find love. If you, you have to be lovable to receive love. How long have you been married? 20 plus years. Yeah, about 30. We've been together 30, 30, 30 about 20 plus years. Is, yeah, we've been married. Mm -hmm. Okay. 30 years. When you got married, you were lovable. Yes. Other, mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would not have found love. Right. So listeners out there, work on loving yourself, having great self-esteem. If, if you were in a fire and your whole face is scarred, you're still beautiful. Because the scarring doesn't affect your heart and soul. It just affects exactly. your, your, your physical body. Right. Yeah. Like when I travel in other countries, I go up to all the disabled people. And if they want, I hug them. I give them money. Yes. And they're beautiful. There's this man who has a disfigured face. So his face is out in the here. Right. And many people don't talk to him because they think he's a monster. And he's a beautiful being. Yeah. So every, I see him every week on the street. And every week I give him money. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what he I doesn't, what he doesn't know, there are doctors out there that could help them, help them. Right. Yeah. Yes. So there's always, always, always an immediate solution. You just have to stay in the solution and not the problem. Right. You stay in the solutions in your life, right? Yes. So do your children have lots of problems? No, not really. They're they're very positive thinkers. They're going to college or they're in their career? Yeah, the um two one is finished. Well, actually they're 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 there's they're finishing up some of their education. I have two in college and one is in a master's program. Two are in the master's program right now. Okay. So what do you want for your children in the future? Happiness. What you want is them to be great human beings. Yes. To be authentic human beings. Oh, definitely. So my soul is authentic and I do everything correctly and authentic. Mm -hmm. So lots of times husbands and wives want you to do things that you don't really want to do. I do it if it's for the benefit of a relationship mm -hmm. automatically. Believe it or not, I wash dishes. Mm -hmm. I do. I have five people who work in my house and my grounds. Mm -hmm. And I still do all those things. Right. You know why I do it? It's the correct. Right. No, it's the correct thing to do. Mm. Yes. We're here. If you're with a man or a woman or whoever you're with, you want to help that person. Right. You want to you make their life easy. So, yes. Stacy, is your life easy? Um, I, I'm pretty blessed in many areas. Yes. Okay. My life is super easy. Guess what? I don't drive cars. And I have lots of cars. Do you know why I don't drive them? Why? Because it's much easier to be chauffeured. Mm -hmm. I have time to enjoy my wife in the car, to look at the scenery, to enjoy the road. Right. And where you live, is there a lot of traffic? Um not exactly where I live. It's it's okay, but not too far out there is a lot of traffic. So when do you ever drive to New York City? Yes. So if I was to drive to New York City, I would drive 
very, very early when there's no traffic. Right. Because I would want the process to be easy. Right. Your listeners, if your life isn't easy, then you have to deal with all the solutions, why it's not easy. Right. What's your favorite food? My favorite food. My favorite food is, oh boy, you caught me off guard here. There's a lot of things I like. Italian? I do like Italian. Yeah. I like, I like uh, Asian too. I'm a big fan of Asian food. Yeah. So listeners, everything in life is based on the ingredients that you have in your life. So you have to base your life. If you're having struggles in the relationship, the ingredients are not correct. You need to correct the ingredients. Right. Great, great food. Okay. You like Mexican food? I do. I only like the Mexican food from, from Mexico because they cook it. They make it much better in Mexico. It's not like they Americanize. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to, I, okay. My wife is an international chef, mm -hmm. cook. Do you know why she's an international cook? Because I sent her, cook. no, I sent her to culinary school because I wanted to eat great food. Mm -hmm. Because I know ingredients. The, me the best Mexican food in the world, guess where it's at? It's not in Mexico. Oh, really? You know what? You know the name of it? Super Rica. Oh, yeah? So all the experts in food, like myself, do you remember Julia Childs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Her and I used to eat at Super Rica. <laughs> so as an example, in Mexico, you could buy tamales for 10 pesos or 20 mm -hmm. pesos. Oh, yeah? Two tamales in that restaurant would cost you as much as $20. But they're not good. They're not great. They're fantastic. Do you remember a restaurant called Torito? El Torito? El no, they had yeah, they had restaurants all over the United States. Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. So I, when I was a little boy, my parents used to eat at their first restaurant, run by mm -hmm. their mother and father and the sons who were young, mm -hmm. teenagers. They ended up opening up a big chain of Mexican restaurants. So oh, it, was, really? it was the biggest chain. They had 1,500 restaurants all over the United States. Their Mexican food was from zero to 10, probably a seven. Mm -hmm. Do you like guacamole? Yes. So when you eat guacamole, it needs to be great. Right. When you sleep, it needs to be great. When right. you work, it needs to be great. Mm -hmm. Everything needs to be great because it has the best ingredients. Right. See, the reason I decided to come out of retirement, because my clients around the world begged me to do so, right. was the world is going to be more challenging. Yes. It's going to be more difficult. Mm -hmm. Unless you have, so as an example, if a person has their life automated and you're fifth dimension, you're going to move in this world a lot easier. Right. If if you're living a real life, remember listeners, the majority of people are not living a real life because you're living a life based on your childhood and your adult experiences. You were mm -hmm. abused by it, your parents. Your parents didn't love you. You didn't have enough money. You're husband or your wife divorced you, ran away or whatever it might be. That's not a real life. Right. That's less than a real life. Yeah. So you want a real life that leads to longevity. Right. See, in the programs that I've created, it's all about you living as long as you would like to live. Right. How long do you want to live? As long as, as, as I can. Yes. But when you get older, you want to be youthful, right? Oh, for sure. Then if you can't, there's no purpose. Then there's no purpose. So I'm going to live to 101 plus, but being youthful. 
Mm -hmm. I, as I told you before, I don't have one wrinkle on my face. And my body is hard for a right. person my, for a person my age. My wife goes every day, how come your skin, my skin is so thick. Right. No losing its elasticity or nothing. And that's because everything that I do on a daily basis leads to a beautiful end. See, right. when, we, when we make a trans transition, we want it to be beautiful. We want it to be great. Oh, yeah. For sure. So, by the way, I'm just briefly, I created a device. It's called Q Energy Force, and it's at QEnergyForce.com. So, over 10 years ago, a friend of mine who was a shaman told me the story where this family came to him. Their son was blind at birth. And he knew that he could bring sight to this person. So yeah. this young boy had been to doctors. The doctor said, you're blind for the rest of your life. So he started working on using quantum energy and mm -hmm. all kinds of past Mayan energies and so forth. Bottom line is, The boy, the man, he's in his 20s now, and he has perfect vision. Wow. Now, people would say that's a miracle. It is a miracle. So I put all that technology into a device called the Q Energy Force device because I wanted people in this lifetime to have something that opens up all their chakras, eliminates all deceptive energy in their bodies. And that's what this device does. Can you and go more into it, detail about it? Well, okay. Let me. So it took 10 years to develop. Mm -hmm. It was created and made in Europe, mm -hmm. even though it costs more, we we wanted it to be quality. Right. So so what it does, it stimulates circulation. It protects against 5G energy and electro contamination. You know about 5G, right? Yes. Okay. 5G is harmful energy. Yeah. It keeps your seven chakras open. It improves the optimization of the nine chambers of the heart, improves your vibrational energy. It recovers your vital force. Remember, your vital force is in the center of your body. But what happens in people's lives, their vital force leaves their body mm -hmm. because they're living with the wrong person. Can you right. imagine yourself living with someone and fighting with someone seven days a week, 24 oh, hours a day? about it. Yeah. Yes. It stimulates your bioenergetic flow, improves abundance and wealth, improves personal and professional power, improves the immune system, increases cellular absorption, improves the healing process, improves control of your life, balance. It improves the connection to God's source. So this device connects with your heart and soul just for you. Wow. So it becomes personalized. Right. So, so the first person to use the device beside myself was my wife. I gave it to her. She was sitting across in the chair in my office. Mm -hmm. She put it on. And she was a completely different person. Really? Instantaneously. Now, she had no idea that it was the connection of the device in her that was generating all this energy. So but how did she change when she had it on? More clarity, 
more focus, um, more positive. Wow. And today, she uses it every day. And today, she's a lot more spiritual. I so, love it. So she was only at that time, maybe 120. Mm -hmm. And now she's close to becoming fifth dimensional. Wow. And vibrating in tens of thousands. And, oh, wow. And she grew up in an orphanage. Oh, yeah. In a Catholic orphanage. Oh, she was wow. She was actually going to be a nun. Oh, really? Yes. And I have a picture of her when she was like 16 or 17 years old. And she looks very, very innocent. But growing up in, in an orphanage is not a pleasant experience. Oh, no. No. Definitely not. Yes. So she felt this great sense of abandonment. So through using this device, she now is eliminating this abandonment in her life. Wow. And see, abandonment takes us, okay, do you have a lot of clothes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of jewelry? Yes. <laughs> so my wife has hundreds of purses, all mm -hmm. with name brands. Right. A typical woman. <laughs> no, she has thousands of clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because that was used to fill her up. Right. So people who buy a lot, they mm -hmm. need to be filled up. I, at one time, I had 800 t shirts. Right. You know why? Why? Because I bought t-shirts that had great sayings. Mm -hmm. So I would use them at different events. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to have a lot of things, but you can't buy things because you feel abandoned. No, definitely I'm gonna, not. I'm gonna, can you see this ring? No, I can't see it yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Put, put your hand back a little bit so it's clearer. Yeah, now everybody can see it clearly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what ring this is? What? This is, the, this is the seal of Solomon. Oh. I had especially made for me. So I got the ring. I had it made for me in another country. Right. And my wife was talking to her sister. And her sister was just fascinated. And so my wife said, this ring has so much power. So what I did was I went downstairs and I called three of my big dogs to me. Right. All I, all I did was point the ring to them. They all stood quiet and put their head down. No, really? Yes. Not a word. No, wow. no verbal gestures or whatever. So, oh, wow. why is the ring powerful? The ring is powerful because of my energy. Right. And then the energy of the ring itself. Right. So, remember, you make everything powerful in your life. Right. You don't, you don't need a 10 karat diamond ring you, for you to look rich. Exactly. Yes. So my wife has probably 5,000 pieces of jewelry. Right. That's a lot. <laughs> yes. Why do I buy my wife lots of jewelry? Because I want her to be surrounded with wealth and prosperity. Mm -hmm. See, So she's surrounded with wealth and prosperity. So this Q Energy Force device has been around for two years. We only make 100 devices a year. Oh, wow. And the reason being, we don't want it to be put in the hands of people in other countries to ream and it has specific software, which they cannot duplicate. Oh, very good. 
that does these things, but they sources would copy it. Yes. And then, then sell it. Mm -hmm. So we sell it for a very reasonable a cost plus shipping. The richest people in the world, believe it or not, are my clients as well as working people are my clients. Right. They, they all use this device. Yeah. And again, it connects with you and it helps you live more of a fifth dimensional life instead of a first, second, third, or fourth yes. dimensional life. Now, you saying that in the world you're living now, people are coming to you who are very spiritual. Yes. And that's probably one of the reasons why I decided to do your show was I knew by your language and your responses to me, and you knew by my responses to you that mm -hmm. there was a spiritual connection. Yes. Yeah. And you want to have this spiritual connection with your, yes. with your daughters, with your son, with your husband, with your family, with people on the street. Do you know I say hello to every person when I walk on the street? I'm kind of like that myself. I, I say hello. I like to give compliments to people. Make yes. people feel good. You have a beautiful dress on. Your eyes are beautiful. Your hair looks great. Yes. Because if you can't say anything nice to someone, then don't say anything at all. Exactly. So humans out there, you need to take lots of action. Do you, do you know why coaches came about? So why? divinity created the concept of coaches because we're mm -hmm. moving into the internet world and it's an easy thing for people to do on the internet. Right. As long as you're tapped in. So mm -hmm. my clients are so happy to have me as the mentor because right. not only am I able to create beautiful lives for them, but I see everything that's going to happen in the future. And right. then I can alter and change that to make it correct. Right. So every listener out there, you need to alter and change your life and make your life correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go to my website, drrichardlondon.com. You would go to education.org. Educationdigest.org. Educationdigest.org. So... I've created, let's see, 500,000 pieces of work. I've written 10 books. Every day, I'm doing nothing but creating. So this afternoon, I'll be creating. Mm -hmm. And what is unique about right now, because of everything that happened with COVID and so forth, I developed a unity system where you go from first dimension, the second to third to fourth, then fifth dimensional, and then you're moving in longevity. Like mm -hmm. you would like to live 101 plus, right? Yes. But living it youthful. Yes. Seeing your great, great, great grandchildren. Right. 100%. And, enjoy, and enjoying them. Mm -hmm. Swimming at 101 Riding right. a motorcycle at 101. Yes. <laughs> Riding a horse at 101. Right. But it can only be done through this divine progression of moving. Right. In one direction. You're just mm -hmm. moving forward, 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 and forward. Right. So every day, it's like a new day, and I'm just creating and creating. And you want your listeners to do that. A hundred percent. Yeah. And you want them to be a hundred percent authentic. So yes. at the end of my working with someone, they're a hundred percent authentic mm -hmm. in every aspect of their life. They never lie. They're an integrity. Right. You know, I pay everything in advance. If you notice, I pay everything quick, immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the more you pay immediately, guess what? The more is returned back to you. Right. Yeah. Half of the world's population, they're behind in everything. Mm -hmm. 
you know the word behind, right? Yes. It not it means it could mean somebody's derriere, right? Mm -hmm. So most people are behind somebody's derriere. Do you mm -hmm. want to be behind somebody's derriere all your life? Or you want it to be free? Right. Yes. I'm free 100% every day, 24 hours a day. I do exactly right. what I want to do. Exactly. And that's what happens when you're fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. And the reason you're getting people like myself to come to you and people around you is because you want to move in that direction. Yeah. And you need to. Right. You need to be the best that you can be. Do you believe yeah. you're the... Do you believe you're the best you can be right now? I always believe I could be better. I always believe that I could always be better. Yes. So every day, I'm the optimum me. Mm -hmm. So imagine being the optimum you, Stacey. Right. Your your last name is Italian? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your husband growing up with that name, did a lot of people go chill? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I figured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Yeah. So, does he need to chill more? Does he need to chill more? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so what I want you to do tonight, you can do it on your pillow. Okay. You can, you can tap it. You go, okay. so-and-so, chill. So-and-so is chill. So-and-so is chill. So-and-so is chill. And I guarantee you, his study, he will start to be more chill. I'm going to try that. <laughs> I'm really chill. Mm -hmm. No drama, no emotion. I'm happy about everything. Right. But I don't go to that energy because it destroys productive energy. Right. I'm here to create as much as possible. Yeah. Do you know I own hundreds of dot-com companies? Hundreds. Yeah. And I share this wisdom. I have dating sites that I own. Mm -hmm. But guess what makes my dating site different than other dating sites? What? It teaches people how to date. 95% mm -hmm. of the people in the world don't know how to date. How do you expect to find your partner if you don't know how to date? Right. You choose just, oh, this guy is really handsome. He's got big <laughs> muscles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to marry someone who's just good looking, has big muscles. Right. You you want to have a beautiful heart, a beautiful soul. Exactly. But they can have big muscles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to see Arnold Schwarzenegger when... I was young, work out. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I never wanted to have big muscles. Right. I didn't think it looked good. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to just be the best we can be in this particular lifetime, Stacey. You're doing yeah. a great job. You're a Thank treasure. You. You're a treasure to this world and what you're wow. doing. And guess Thank what? You. You're welcome. You're going to get better and better and better and better and better. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And it gets lots of fun to be better. So do you have any secrets that you want to know about the universe that I can share with your listeners? I'd like you to maybe share some tips with people and people who want to either connect or they want to enhance their spiritual awareness Maybe you can give some tips on how people can get on the right path. Or I know people that are interested in it. They they can they they feel spiritual, but they're not they're not yet grounded or th things are going on in their life, but they're not exactly where they want to be. But they'd like to learn how they can get there to okay. to make that to hit that spirituality where they're con totally content, grounded. They could focus their clarity, and maybe you can give some tips to people. Okay, first tip, get yourself a small recorder and record you in that day, every place you go. Because the majority of people are using terrible words. Mm -hmm. 
and their terrible words are creating their life. How do yeah. you expect how do you expect to live in a life where you're going, oh, I don't have any money. I'm sick. My back hurts. I have migraines. So that becomes their life. Those words have a specific number and vibration becomes their life. So right. monitor, first step would be to monitor what you say. Mm -hmm. I never, ever say anything negative. Right. Number two tip. There's only two words that exist on planet Earth. No and yes. No mm -hmm. is negativity. Yes is positivity. The more right. you say yes, the more positive your life is. Right. I say yes 100% of every day. Next, no matter what anybody tells you, this life is all about your energy and vibration. Yes. How can you expect to live a divine life or live a great life if you have low vibrations? Mm -hmm. Yes. God doesn't doesn't hear you with a low vibration. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I have no money. Mm -hmm. God, my my children have malaria. I'm sick. Everybody's sick around me. So God hears positive things and God helps people when they're ill, but you have to have a vibration. So how does one get more vibration? They study people like myself. Right. They put together affirmations and words mm -hmm. that are very positive in their life. And they, you need to take a lot of action. Great routines. Poor routines, poor life. Right. So the majority of listeners out there, they're probably not sleeping well enough. They're not eating well enough. They're not exercising well enough and they're not using yes words and they're using no words. Right. You use a lot of yes words. Mm -hmm. So those yes words move you in a different path. So let's take no. No moves you down Yes moves you up. Right. Okay. So those are the best tips. Take a lot of action in your life. If you're not taking a lot of action, 60% of the people in the world are in walking depression. Yeah. The way you the way you get out of depression is by taking a lot of positive action. Yes. And the reason most people are in depression, they're eating horribly. Yeah. Like you said, you liked Asian food. Mm -hmm. In the Asian world, Asian people tend to live longer. Mm -hmm. They have less problems of heart disease, diabetes, and so forth. But the best tip I can give anybody is empirical faith. Mm -hmm. Just saying, I love God and do another thing. You have to be have empirical faith and use empirical faith every day in your life. Like if your daughter comes to you and your daughter has a great idea and she wants to open up a business. Right. Your great faith will enable her to be successful in that business. Right. If you're if you're negative or you lack faith. Mm -hmm. Do you have lots of friends that people say to you they have great faith? Um, I think I think a lot of people I know have great faith, but then there are some who are have faith, great faith, but they're a little on the skeptical side also. So right. combo of both. I have great faith 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Ask me if I ever make the wrong decision. Never. Mm -hmm. I don't make wrong decisions. Right. I've never I've never recommended anything not to the best interest to my clients in the entire world. How do you like right. that? Right. 
no matter who it was helping their child or their business or whatever. I'm the number one business expert in the world because I know all the practical steps in becoming wealthy. Instead right. of instead of investing in gold, I bought gold mines. Right. Instead of depleting the gold mines of all the gold, and I give most of my money to a foundation. We help over 50,000 children with food, school books, computers, clothing, whatever they need. That's wonderful. And, and it takes it takes wealth. So wealth is about great faith. Yes. Most of your listeners, they talk a lot about money, right? Um well, I, I have some that do, and then I have I have a lot of them that want to they have a lot of input on how to help people improve their lives, you know, yes. mentally, you know, physically, spiritually. See, when you're a wellness heir, all those things are in balance. Mm -hmm. So by taking the steps that I've given you, you have balance in your life. When you have right. balance, when you have balance, you have everything. Yes. No balance. And you can't have balance if you're not getting eight or nine hours of sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not. How about your husband? Does he go to sleep early? He goes to sleep early and he gets up very early. Okay. What time does he go to sleep? Um, He goes to sleep at 1130. About eleven thirty. Oh, and, and what time does he wake up? And what time does he wake up? Probably around five thirty. He needs to get more sleep. Yeah. See, that's one of the rules. Would God get good great sleep, or would God stay up all hours? God would get great sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you exercise? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you eat well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't eat perfect. Right. If you if you're not eating things like I like ice cream. Mm -hmm. And in Mexico, there's great ice cream. <laughs> and you know what's the greatest ice cream? You're gonna laugh. What? It's made out of cactus flowers. Really? Yes. I believe that. I believe and that. It's, and it's purple. Ah. So many years ago, I saw this man selling ice cream. And it was purple. And I go, purple ice cream? <laughs> and there's no artificial flavors in any of the ice creams in Mexico. It's all pure. Oh, how nice. Yes. And it's delicious. So I eat ice cream maybe two times a week. Mm -hmm. But I don't eat a quart of ice cream. Right. Everything needs to be in moderation in divine order mm -hmm. in your divine order right everybody's divine order is different right believe do you know there are actual god's rules that god set on this earth did you know that there are actual um, rules i'm not talking about biblical rules uh, the Ten Commandments or anything of that right. nature. There are actual rules. And that's one of the things that I teach is actual God's rules that God set down on this planet, but the majority of people don't even know there's rules. Right. Yeah. See, if you know there's rules, pardon me? I was going to ask you, do you share that on your that information on your website? No. And the, in the, in the reason... Uh, on, I have hundreds of websites, so it might be on one of those websites. I have a website, richardlondon.com, drrichardlondon.com, education.org, qenergyforce.com, many. So if you go to one, especially if you go to education.org, you mm -hmm. will see a lot of the sites. So okay. be believe it or not, I have two websites, God's Toolbox. Mm -hmm. And I have God's police. So I actually mm -hmm. created God's police. Oh, wow. Interesting, right? Very interesting. Yes. So God's toolbox. I I imagine God with a toolbox. Mm -hmm. and so when you go to God's toolbox, 
You right. will actually you will actually see God's tools in the toolbox. Wow. Yeah. Tell everybody your um your websites again so they can find you. Uh, education dot education digest dot org education digest dot org Richard London dot com. Mm -hmm. You could go to qenergyforce.com and it explains the value of the particular device. Mm -hmm. And those are the three major, but I have many, 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 many others. I'm actually the number one expert in narcissism in the world. Oh, really? And I didn't want to be the number one expert mm -hmm. in narcissism. Right. But see, when you become fifth dimensional, you actually open up other dimensions. Right. So I'm going to share your listeners. Every human being has their life like a puzzle. Did you mm -hmm. ever work on a puzzle in your life? I used to love puzzles as a kid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every human being has 5,400 pieces to their puzzle. What happens when you're here on planet Earth, many of your pieces of your puzzle never come together. Right. And when they never come together, you can't be authentic. So when I right. help people become fifth dimensional, they can go to automatealife.com as well. It talks about becoming fifth dimensional. And if you become fifth dimensional, it enhances the experience on this life. So the wow. youngest... The young, youngest person I ever helped be fifth dimensional uh, was 17 years old. And she's retired at the age of 30. Mm -hmm. She's never had a boyfriend in her life. Never. Wow. This year, she's getting married. She's going to have a child. And she's the richest woman in the world. In the world. Wow. Yes. This is amazing. And she started I, I, at 17. Wow. Wow. But you know this what is, she had? She had great what? faith. Great faith. I think that's one of the main components that you need is great faith. Yeah. Really great faith. Yeah. In a practical, logical sense. Remember this earth, since most people live an unreal life, it's mm -hmm. not really practical. Right, right. See, everything in my life has to make sense. Yes, 100%. If it, if it doesn't make sense, then... It shouldn't be there. You're blowing smoke. Right. I don't ever blow smoke in people's lives. That's Let's amazing. see, in, in my life, how many miracles I've had? Uh, over 50,000. Wow. Do you know of anybody who's had 50,000 miracles? You're the first. <laughs> yeah. So today, when I get out, I will create miracles. Well, throw some miracles over to me, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. This, this program that we're doing, it's at the highest vibration in the millions. So mm -hmm. all you listeners, when you view, view this program, you're going to feel different. I've done programs where millions of people are laughing, crying, and feeling things that they've never felt. I have lots of YouTube videos under my name. What's yes. your YouTube um, channel? It's my name. Dr. Okay, Richard wonderful. Lundendorf. Yeah. Lots of most unique. I had, yeah. I had 100 million people on my video that I did. That's amazing. With millions of people crying. Because I love it, just, it. It was a healing video. Yes, yes. Have you, have you ever heard of Chichen Itza? No, I have not. Mm -mm. Okay, Chichen Itza is a sacred Mayan place in Peru. And so I brought millions of people up Chichen Itza metaphorically. But what they didn't know, I had them carried. Each person was carried by an angel, high vibrating angel up. Chitsanitsa. Wow. 
It was remarkable. Now this so, is a topic we're going to have to talk about when we, when I have you back on the show because yeah. this this is power. That sounds very powerful. It is very powerful. So I want to bless everybody out there. You know where to reach me. I'm very reachable. Believe it or not, I look at every one of my emails. Yes. Yep. And if I'm not around, I have somebody who looks at all the emails and responds. So well, it, I hope I hope we could have you back on the show because I'd yeah. love to go further and and dig dig deeper, especially in the angelic sense and in the and and talk more about the energies and how to heal your body more. I think this would be great. I will. So what I'd like you to do is go to the video about, it's called Healy Village. Healing Village. Okay. Yeah. And experience that. And that's going to open you up to greater spirituality. Because it was the greatest event ever done on planet Earth. And very complicated to do. When you experience, you're going to go. How did Dr. Lunda do this? <laughs> but you're going to feel it. It's yeah. real. It's real. I'm going to check it out. Okay, check it out. Wish you the best. Many blessings. Big hugs. Uh, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on your show. This has been a whirlwind of information. I think the listeners are just, you know, I think your energy, I could feel your energy right now. And I think you're really, your energy is transforming to them. I think, you know, I, I think it's wonderful that you're helping so many people. And can people actually get these services from you? They can do yes. you. Yes. And they'll find it on your website. Which website yeah. will they find that on? Uh, the, Dr. The, London? Yeah, they'll find it on education.org. Automate okay. Life. They'll find the Q Energy Force device. They can see what it looks like. And, uh, and if yeah. they wanted to purchase that, could they purchase it through the website? They have to get in touch with you. No. They have to get in touch with me because okay. each, each one is handmade. That's the reason. Oh, I look. see. Yeah. Okay. Each one is handmade based on like somebody might have a desire to be a great doctor. Yes. To be to be a great lawyer, to be a great coach, to be a, a great transformational person. So we have to program the device with yes. your specific desires. And your DNA. Oh, okay. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Take a look I, at it yourself. Yes. I am. I'm definitely going to take a look at it. That's very, very, very interesting. This has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And I can't wait to have you back. You've been a whirlwind of information. And oh, very, God. I can feel your energies. You're, you have a very strong energy. And, and thank you so much for sharing all this information with our, yeah. our listeners. And thank you for being the divine Stacy that you are. See. Thank so you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.